In my last video, I bought this phone here, the Samsung Galaxy G2 Prime. I'm in Brazil and got this from a cell phone market where I learned that they regularly sell Samsung Galaxy J series phones. Amazingly, some people here are still using these devices as daily drivers. Considering the J2 Prime was released in 2016, that's amazing. I love the modular design, the micro USB charge ports. Ah, I'm just kidding, I hate micro USB, but I really do love this phone and today we're gonna answer the question, can you game on a J2 Prime in 2023? In short, yes you can. As you can see by my low storage space, I have just about used all 16 gigabytes of internal storage on this little device. And today we're gonna take another drive down nostalgia lane and take a look at a few of these applications, what I call the essentials. And through the comments, I saw you guys wanted me to try some emulation with these older smartphones, so I downloaded a PSP emulator. I'll go through that later in the video, where I played two of my favorite PSP games. Oh yeah, by the way, I got bit by a rodent and now I'm going through the rabies vaccine. Yeah, I'll, I'll cover that later in the video. Before we get to the games, I wanted to show you guys something cool. I actually bought some SIM card adapters so I could make a call on the J2 Prime. And the reason I can do that is because Brazil is still using their 2G and 3G cell phone towers. So essentially, this is a micro SIM card adapter for a nano SIM card, which is what my iPhone uses. So that clear space is where the nano SIM fits perfectly. As you can see, the micro SIM fits perfectly into the SIM card slot number two. I'm intentionally covering it with my finger just to hide my SIM card number. I'm on T-Mobile. Let's do a test call. My wife is out with her parents. Hey, I'm calling on that super old phone. I'm just testing it. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, it's working, so it's kind of cool. That's cool. I edited most of that conversation out, but I just want to show you guys that it works and the phone is showing 3G connectivity. That is cool. You guys also commented in my last video about this application called Mobile TV and that it was similar to the radio application, as in you needed to plug headphones into the device in order to stream. Well, you guys are right. So I got my headphones, I plugged them in, and to my surprise, worked pretty well. So let me show you guys how that looks. Let's launch the TV application and it's telling us mobile TV to use mobile TV insert the headphones yeah we've already done that and now we can scan for channels and from there it starts scanning for channels is it me or was this application never available in the USA comment below while we wait for some of these channels to load okay fully loaded I selected one of the four channels and we've got live news from local television networks <laughs> It's so cool, bro. <laughs> oh, I wish I could speak Portuguese. Dang it. You could also take screenshots of what's on the screen and also record within the TV app and all the recordings are stored within the TV app. I'm unsure if there's a way to save them outside of it, but either way, this is way cool. I would take this over the radio any day. All right, so let's take a drive down Nostalgia Lane and play some of these applications that we grew up on. Starting with Hungry Shark Evolution, I couldn't think of a better place to play this game than at the beach in Brazil of these shark-infested waters. Nah, I'm just kidding. No sharks here, but a perfect place for some gameplay. Okay, I lied again. I'm not gonna like sit at the beach. There's too much sand and it's too hot. So we're gonna go in this little area we found. Oh, hey, look, it's my wife. You are so beautiful and you have no idea that I recorded you. Okay, so let's play some Hungry Shark. This is a big time throwback for me. And oddly, with Android 6 Marshmallow, I didn't have to use an APK file to, to play this game. Actually, all the APKs I tried downloading for Hungry Shark Evolution specifically, they just none of them in work. So I was able to go directly to the App Store on Android 6 and download Hungry Shark Evolution. Hey, I'll take it. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> There's something about Hungry Shark. It's just so dang fun and it never gets old. You keep growing as a shark. You're able to eat bigger and better animals. I just love going up on the dock and, uh, you know, being at the beach while while playing this game. It's just uh, it's so much better than it's ever been. But yeah, this is a huge throwback. I absolutely love this game. Comment below if you guys grew up on this. And the fact it runs this well on a J2 Prime on Android 6 Marshmallow, that is crazy. 
Like, I'll legitimately use this as an airplane phone to play games on. And the whole battery thing, I could have like three extra batteries on me and just pop one out and a new one in if the battery gets too low. Batteries are like 10 bucks. Uh, I actually haven't price checked those, but I couldn't imagine they're too expensive. On the hike back from this beach, we found some monkey friends, as you can see here. Oh, they're so cute. These were common marmosets, to be exact. And guys, as you likely know, and I already knew, don't feed the monkeys. They will mistake your finger for the fruit. You guys saw at the beginning of the video, the bite was very small, but uh, I'd like to play it very safe. So say hello to dumb Johnzoid, who has now started a series of four vaccination treatments for rabies. Yay! In better news, I told you guys that I could run some PSP emulation on this, and that was no lie. So I'm going to show you guys my two favorite games that I played on the PSP and show you guys how they run. As I'm sure most people do, I use PPSSPP emulation for the PSP, the unpaid version, and the game that I love the most is Madden 2008. <laughs> oh, dude! Vince Young, let's go! Oh my gosh, I'm having flashbacks. I don't want to take a really deep delve into the gameplay of this, but I just want to show that some games do work fairly okay. Obviously, you could hear some glitching, and prime gameplay is going to be with a controller, but I think it's pretty cool that this could run Madden at all. So there you have it. There's Madden. I know it was short, but it works. Okay, and then unsure if this is an unpopular opinion, but Call of Duty Roads to Victory on the PSP, I had a blast playing when I was younger. As for campaign mode, it is a terrifying experience <laughs> on the J2 Prime. It's super slow. That, that's what you're going to get. I'm not going to put you guys through watching any more of this. This game in specific doesn't work very well, but games like Madden 08, they worked kind of okay. But this is terrifying, and uh, on to the next. And then there was Paper Toss. Oh, man, this, this is probably the most nostalgic game. Doodle Jump is up there, but this one, oh, dude. The amount of times... I hid my iPod Touch behind a textbook and played this during class. Dude, I, I couldn't even count. I couldn't even count. This is one of the applications I had to find an APK for. I could not find it on the Play Store. So I personally use APK Gold when I'm searching for APK files, and I'll search the Android version followed by the name of the application I'm looking for on Google. And it usually brings me to APK Gold. I really love this old version. Um, I was not playing older versions of Paper Toss on Android. I was playing on an old school iPod Touch. Uh, and I've talked about it in other videos, but me and my friends after sports, like in the locker room, we would just sit around and try to beat high scores of games like this and Doodle Jump and a few of the other games that I'm about to show. So I love this game. Hours of fun. Hours of fun. Love it until I die. Now, for the next two games, which are definitely part of the essentials list, I couldn't think of a better place to play these games than in the middle of the Brazilian jungle. Yes, I brought the J2 Prime with me, and we're gonna do some gameplay, but I wanted to show you guys how beautiful this area was. What better place to play Temple Run than in the jungle? Now, playing Temple Run is one thing, but playing Temple Run in the jungle? I mean, is it just me or is this cool? Guys, come on. Come on, this is cool. If this is cool, comment below. Temple Run is up there with one of those applications I played on my iPod Touch in pretty much every class. Yeah, me and all my buddies were trying to beat high scores of this, Doodle Jump, you know, Paper Toss, all the essentials. Look, they were essential back in the day. Oh, dang it. They were just as essential back in the day as they are today. And if you agree with me, like the video, because you know it's true. And this is another one of those games that I could not find an APK version of. I wanted to download an older version just to bring me back a bit more, but I had to go through the Play Store, and 
it works amazingly. This is on Android 6 and it works just fine. Oh wow, look, speaking of monkeys. Ugh, love the game, always will. As long as I have some version I could download of it, it's gonna be on my phone. It's just, it's just a rule of thumb. Before we get to the next game, what is this thing? It, it looks like a pine cone, but there's no tree and I probably shouldn't be touching it, but hey, if you guys know what this is, comment below. Anyways, next on my essentials list is Doodle Jump. And interestingly enough, I meant to have classic Doodle Jump, which matches the, the jungle theme, but I downloaded the Christmas theme with snow and it's a total mismatch. But as I've mentioned in previous videos, Doodle Jump is probably the most peak nostalgia as it gets for me. I've played more hours of Doodle Jump than hours I drove to get my driver's license. This version here is actually an APK version I found from APK Gold. I love how there are so many different versions of Doodle Jumps. If you get tired of one theme, you could just switch themes and it never gets old. I love this game. Oh, by the way, I have the volume all the way up on the phone and the sound from the waterfall I have to 9% and it's still too loud for us to hear anything from the game. So I hope you enjoyed the background music. My bad, guys. This has nothing to do with the video, but say hello to this crazy boat cat named Jimmy that took us fishing. I'd like to grow up to be like Jimmy. For a small fee, he took us to a remote island where we fished and swam and caught all sorts of stuff. He actually took us back to his house after all of this where we cooked up a bunch of fish as well as mussels and other sea life and it was probably one of yeah. the coolest, most unique experiences I've ever experienced. It was such a vibe that I just, I couldn't keep it out of the video, guys. Oh man, one of the best memories I've had in a very, very long time. Oh, by the way, I spearfished this fish we're eating right here. <laughs> oh yeah. Next on the essentials list, Plants vs. Zombies works extremely well on the J2 Prime, and this was actually an older APK version I found on APK Gold, and it seems to work well. Oh, it just feels so good when these plants are shooting these balls at the zombies, and it takes off their head. It's, it's so satisfying. As you can see, Plants vs. Zombies, it runs smooth on this phone. It runs smooth. It's fantastic. And I know there are so many of you that clicked on this video just to see if Geometry Dash runs. And I'm here to tell you that Geometry Dash Lite, it runs pretty freaking well on the J2 Prime. Now, I don't own the paid version of Geometry Dash, not because I'm cheap, simply because I suck so bad at Geometry Dash that I don't want any harder levels than the Lite version because I suck so bad at this game. The free version levels are good enough for me, and they work. You could download this straight from the Play Store. This is the Android 6 version, which is running completely fine. I I'm beyond impressed with the J2 Prime. This is gonna be one of the cheap phones I have on hand that I'm gonna do some gaming with whenever I take a flight. And then for all my real OGs who've been playing hill climb racing since birth, the J2 Prime runs this like this phone was manufactured to run hill climb racing. It's great how I'm so in love with all these games, but I just suck so bad at all of them. But hey, hill climb racing, it works well, boys. It works well. Oh, and uh, last but not least, Free Fire runs fantastic on the J2 Prime as well. Although I don't think many of you in the United States are playing Free Fire, it runs and it runs well. Many people in my comments have said things like, you could run Free Fire on a calculator, and I do agree it's not too demanding, but I have tried it on some smartphones and they just can't handle it. So if you were curious to know if Free Fire could run on the J2 Prime, it seemed to work completely fine, at least while I was playing a match. So there you have it. So can you game on the J2 Prime in 2023? And the answer is obviously completely 
yes. I overpaid for this phone at almost $50, and I feel like it's completely worth it. Unlike iPhones, which I use as a daily driver, older Android OS like Android 6 can still be used today. If you guys enjoyed this video, please subscribe where I upload videos like this every single Saturday. Well, I mean, with the exception of today, that is. Anyways, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys on the flip side.